Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna show you how to create pure CSS3 shapes uh, shapes like the one that you see here on the left hand side this is a talk bubble people and uh, you know it actually expands as you keep on filling the text so for example if I you know just fill in more text You can actually see that uh, the height has been set to auto and it automatically expands to show the difference um, this is a pure CSS3 shape people it's uh, it's actually two divisions combined yes it's a division one division which is actually a triangle which is this one and one division which is actually a square with rounded uh, corners so we have used the border radius CSS3 property now the great thing here is that you know you see the position of the 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 triangle first of all let me change the color of the triangle to show you how you know things actually are placed so mm, notice the difference as uh, I was saying this is actually two divisions one which has the background color wheat and the other which has a background color of or which has the color of red uh, how did I manipulate things how did I arrive at this shape is something that I'll be co covering extensively only in the second part people part one as uh, as in most of my tutorials will only belong to the previews the preview states along with uh, a little description of the code but we will do everything from scratch uh, right from the very beginning only in the second part okay so this is uh, you see there are so basically it's just two shapes combined since uh, they share the same color you feel that it's actually a talk bubble but uh, uh, the fact is it's actually two shapes combined overlapping each other uh, we can change the position of this triangle. I'm going to show it to you. Give me a sec. I can even make the uh, triangular shape bigger, smaller, more pointed. Uh, and I can tweak the rotation, uh, etc. I'm just going to uh, show you how I can actually do that just a little bit. See, this triangle is 16 pixels from the top. If I'm going to change this to, let's say, 36, you see how the change actually reflects. It goes down. Let me change it to 66. It goes down even further, right? Uh, it's actually tilted. If you see, it's actually tilted. I can uh, change that tilt. You see, I've used the dash webkit dash transform rotate property, and I can just uh, tilt it a little more. Or a little less by just tweaking this value see the way it's actually tilted now so it's, it's very easy to actually uh, you know change that I can even change its uh, position it's here on the left hand side I can make it go on the right hand side too you see it says right 95 percent you know I can have it protrude out even more I can make it hundred percent okay I can uh, set it to a a left 100% let's see where it actually goes and then I can actually manipulate uh, you know this uh, triangle I can have the talk bubble but pointing instead of pointing to the left hand side I can have it pointing to the right hand side I can do a lot with it people but again I'll be covering everything uh, from scratch uh, in the next part the last part the next part will also be the last part and we'll be covering everything in detail out there only okay now that's as far as uh, this shape is concerned that's a talk bubble let's talk about this shape. what do you think this shape is it's actually three squares stacked over each other it's a stack of three squares people let me show you let me prove my point it's quite easy to do that let me apply a border out here border solid one px red okay and just copy this bit 
the space is still down below. Again, I'm, I'm leaving the explanation, people. The explanation will come only in the second part, where I'll do everything from scratch. Now, I think um, you have clearly understood that it's not one single shape, but it's actually three squares, stack of three squares. And that is the way uh, it looks like it actually looks. Now, if you notice, people, it's a 12-pointed burst. You know, it has uh, 12 corners. I'm just reverting back to the way things were. Okay, this is the way uh, things were to start with. You see, it's a it's a 12 point burst people this is a 12 point burst I can easily change it to a 8 point burst see a 8 point burst has to be a stack of 2 squares instead of 3 squares but tilted uh, at an angle of 45 degrees again this is something I'm gonna show you in detail in part 2 only but let me just show you how easy it is to change that so what we'll do is <coughs> And by the way, people, I'm using Code Pen. It's an online editor uh, instead of using Dreamweaver, which I usually do. All right. So what I'm going to do is WebKit transform. I'm going to change the rotation to a 45 degrees out here. That's the first change. Okay. See the way uh, you know the image got distorted because you see the WebKit uh, vendor prefix affects the browser's Chrome and Safari and I'm actually using Chrome right now at the same time if I just remove a little bit of code from here again the explanation will be reserved for the second and the last part people okay so quite clearly you see that 12 point burst is actually an 8 point burst now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so that it has 8 corners now let me just revert to the way things were to start with okay so it's again uh, you know a three square stacked on top of each other and it's back to a 12 point or 12 cornered burst people okay you see I've also used Z index out here because the division where I'm actually writing some text should appear right at the top and uh, so there are three uh, you know there are three squares out here two squares need to be sent right at the back that's the reason I've used uh, a Z index of minus 999 so the depth has been used out here too people if you're good with CSS if you understand uh, the pseudo classes colon before and colon after this shouldn't uh, be too difficult for you uh, but if you do not understand uh, how the you know pseudo or classes colon before and colon after actually operate then I would advise you to uh, check out some other tutorials from me that talk about the same subject or just research the subject and then come back and meet me in uh, part uh, two till that time people keep rocking you have a good day bye bye peace